Hello again, a very warm welcome to you all. My name is Denny Kay, here today with a bottle of Samaroli. This is a liquid that was distilled in 2012, spent 10 years in a bourbon, hogshead, a single cask, bottled in 2022 at a lofty natural cask strength of 56.2%. Now, this is exclusively available in Australia. As you see, the artwork really links in there with the kookaburra. Love the artwork, I really do love the artwork on all of the Summeroli bottlings, they're quite unique, and also a screw cap, which you don't see so much on high-end whiskey, unless of course you're buying Japanese whiskey. Now, Summeroli legendary bottler. For the real whiskey nerds out there, you know the brand, you know the label, you know of the legendary bottlings, and obviously that the label does live on for People are relatively new early on, maybe in their whiskey um, journey, or haven't really dabbled so much with older bottlings or the wonderful world of independent bottlers, perhaps not so familiar to you, but you should absolutely have a bit of a read about Swabano somewhat only. So he was born in 1939, and then in the late 60s, was importing wine, whiskey, etc. Um, and then that evolved into a label where he bottled some absolutely legendary, legendary whiskey at natural cast strength, which this one here is, but those are absolutely chased by collectors. So not gonna get any of those cheap, really the only way now is to look for some of the modern day stuff. Linkwood, a rather old distillery founded in the 18, 20s and now owned by Diageo. So we don't see really many any official bottlings come out at all. There's of course the Flora and Fauna, which is a 12 year old. If you want older stuff, you have to go to independently bottled whiskey. Gordon McFall did bottle some link with over 50 years old because it is an old distillery. This one here is very, very interesting, very unique. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go through smell, taste, overall experience, all of those things, give you my thoughts on it now. I will say I've tried this with water, without water, not adding any water in this, even at 56.2% because high ABV, very balanced. It will sound crazy to say this, but a rather delicate nose. What do you get on the nose? Immediately, pear, apples, nashi pear. Apples are golden, delicious apples, not red apples just yet, but that will come. White nectarines and white peach. Some grassy tones coming through, also a little bit creamy. Milfoy, which is a French vanilla custard slice. Now, I did say white nectarine, white peach, not, not yellow flesh um, peach. The difference, so yellow fresh peach, higher in acidity, bigger, bolder flavor. White flesh nectarine peach, far more delicate floral type sweetness that comes through. Okay, now, There are the red apples, still pears. Yes, pepper, black pepper, and also confectionery sweetness, lemon drops, toffee apples. Absolutely, fantastic. Now, there's a little bit, as we come through to the finish, there's a little bit of some sweet oak in there, pepper, yes, red apple skins, tiny bit drying, medium length finish. A little bit creamy, some milk bottles in there as well. Fantastic. Now, as I said, I'm not going to add any water to this. With a little bit of time, what does start to happen on the nose is it, it just orchard fruits, right? So as I said earlier on, pears, apples, peaches, nectarines, you start to get some red apples that come through on the nose as well. It becomes creamier and far more confectionery with the sweetness. So really for me, it's those fresh fruits that I mentioned that come through, that confectionery, that notes that come through, a little bit of oak, a little bit of pepper. So a little bit of that sweet and spice that works rather well. It's 56.2%, as I said, crazy to say, delicate dram. The nose, the taste, very, very good. So it's a good barrel pick. I would imagine that it should not be too difficult to pick a good barrel when it's coming out of the summer only warehouse, but that being said, this is a very good one and also a good choice not to change the strength or anything like that, to keep this at, at a natural cast strength of 56.2% because it absolutely does work very, very well. I'm thirsty, I'm gonna take another drink. I like it. 
I think it's a very, very good one. Not your typical type of link wood. Still some of those grassy notes, as I said, that come through it, but creamy, lovely, sweet notes too. So I dig it. Really, really lovely one. My thoughts on the Samaroli Linkwood bottled in 2022. As I said earlier, if you don't already subscribe, hit the subscribe button, the like button. That way you can join me again next week. So thank you very much indeed. Cheers to you. Till next time.